Hey everybody, Kulnar here, and welcome back to more NCAA Football 2002. In the last episode, we defeated Michigan 59-14, and we found out that Jonathan Wells won the Heisman Memorial Trophy, and he's the best running back in all of college football. Jim Trestle finished third as coach in the Coach of the Year thing, and we learned Miami lost to Virginia Tech, and now we're here. This is the Rose Bowl National Championship game presented by AT&T and we're going up against Florida. And as you can see, um, we are screwed. We are literally screwed. So, yeah. We're going up against the number one team who's been number one ever since the preseason. And it turns out it has, it, it's Florida. It is Florida. I am not ready to go up against Florida. Seriously, they're the SEC. I'm not going to be going good against the SEC right now. If I had my 2003 Ohio State football team, I think I would win it. But this is in 2001, and we are about to get screwed. Well, we're just going to get destroyed and screwed. But we're back in Pasadena. So, yeah. We're in Pasadena for a game against UCLA, and now we're in Pasadena for the Rose Bowl. So, uh, with that being said, guys, let's start it. This is Ohio State versus Florida. Alright, guys. Here we go. This is gonna be a tough one, but, hey. At least we got to the national championship. I'll be fine with a loss against Florida. Because I know they're going to destroy us. So, yeah. And besides, Jim Trussell lost his first ever bowl game in 2001, so... I'm not expecting anything big here. But if we somehow manage to win the national championship and the Rose Bowl... I don't know, I just might, I just might celebrate. I might go crazy. But we did win the Big Ten Championship, and I'm pretty proud of that. Here we are. And this is it. The Rose Bowl will host this year's national championship game, where the fans have packed the house, ready for this one to explode. The forecast tonight is calling for clear skies, and we should have perfect weather for this game between the Ohio State Buckeyes and the Florida Gators. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the season finale. I'm Brad Nessler, along with the coach, Lee Corso, and our quarterback, Kirk Herbstreit. This is the game we've all been waiting for, guys, the battle for the Sears Trophy. I really can't decide who has the, the Sears Trophy. This yeah, Sears was the call. About your thoughts, sponsor Lee? for the Let's National Championship Trophy. In this one, Brad. Ohio State is a defensive football team. What? Defensive Corso, you're picking us to win? Stopping the other team's run. How? If they can do that. And I think they can. They'll control the tempo. And I think we're going to get destroyed. Game. Did you hear that, Brad? Lee Corso predicting the upset. Well, you're not going to hear me say that. Florida is just too good all well, around. Well, yeah. Kirk Herbstreit's going with Florida. I mean, of course. The players they've got. A wide receiver, for example. This guy could start for a lot of pro teams. Brad, with talent like that, along with excellent coaching, I don't see any chance of an upset. Well, thanks, guys. And it looks like we're ready for the coin toss. Alright, since we are the away team, we get to pick either heads or tails, and we're going to go tails. We won the toss, and we will kick off to Florida. Because I don't want to risk my offense getting schmoodled by Florida's defense. So here we go, guys. The national championship game. I'm really scared, but we have to play it anyway, so here we go. He kicks From Pasadena, this is the Rose Bowl National Championship Number game presented by AT&T. Oh, wow, that was some good kick coverage right there. All right. I know I'm going to be disappointed in the next few minutes. Number five is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Oh. 
And they make the stop at the 20-yard line. One yard on the play. All right, not bad. Ball on the 20-yard line. One, one yard on the play. It was two yards. Man. Game is trying to give me some hopes here. a bullet over the middle. Number 10 hangs on to Oh, wow. Yep. That's how it's going to go for this game. And he showboats at the end. Coach, what can you say about that? All I can say is that was a nice call. The quarterback saw the hole in the defense, and that's a touchdown, folks. And he hits the PAT. And the PAT is good for Florida. Number 28 and number zero keep to return. Number 49 kicks it off. Number 28. Takes All right, it here's Jonathan Wells, and he and he couldn't get a thing going with that return. Yeah, he, uh, he couldn't get anything going. All right, return. so they require good blocking and precise timing. They didn't have either one okay. of those things right there. Let's go run the ball first. Ball on the 17-yard line. Four man front by the defense. He spins. Spin move. Number 13 brings him down for a loss. The defense made sure he went nowhere on that run. Well, guys, we have so many people bunched into one place. It makes it really difficult to find an opening to run to. The Buckeyes go with the eye formation. Back to back. Number eight is going to be sacked for a loss. Jesus. A stop for a six yard loss on the play. Ball on the 11 yard line. Passing situation here on third and long. Drops back. He's looking for his man. Oh, please. Oh, yeah, Michael Jenkins. Oh, I thought he was going to break through. And they convert the third down with a long pass play. Now we're just making Florida look tired here. As a coach, you got to appreciate it when your players come out and perform like these kids are doing right now. Drop back to pass. He passes it. Oh, what another great catch by Michael Jenkins. Ball in 34. It's first and 10. We're just getting Florida caught off guard here with these passes. Oh, he is in the end zone for the touchdown. Unbelievable. Wow. That was amazing. We scored a touchdown on the number one team in the country. Did not think that was going to happen, but it happened. All right. To be honest, I thought we were going to shut out, but we prevented the shutout. Now we can just try and hopefully prevent the blowout. Ohio State is ready to kick it away. Number 20 and number 3 to the season. Number 23 kicks it away. Kick it away to Florida. Number 20 takes it at the four. No and again, no good kick sure. coverage so here. Things here. You need to do a better job of blocking up front, but also you need to get the ball and just attack. Don't dance around and let the coverage swarm all over you. Ohio State lines up in a dime defense here. Step back to pass. Let's it oh, I almost got sacked by Derek Wait. Ross. Check out the replay on that one. If Derrick Ross could have got to him, that would have been a sack for a loss. First and ten. Ball on their own 35. Number five. Lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Drop back to pass. Fires deep down the left side. Wow, we just left that dude open. Number 25 brings him down at the 31. We knew these receivers were fast and athletic, and they are not disappointing us. I think these guys are the difference makers in the game. I would expect to see the deep routes to keep coming and coming at this defense. The Gators set up in the gun. Number eight, back to throw. He lets it go. Complete. 
He stayed in bounds on that catch. Heck of a catch by the receiver. The quarterback threw the ball off target, but luckily he's got receivers right. like this guy. First and ten. Ball on the 19. Number five is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Running the option. They'll bring him down at the 13. I think Florida's quarterback is angry that my running back won the Heisman. I think that's the only thing that, that's going on here. Ball on the 13. It's second down and three to go. The D-line shifts over. And down he goes at the nine. Coach, he picked up a few on that one before they got to him. This was a well executed running play, Brad. How that happen? It's third and inches, but I know he's going to get it. They're going to run him again. They line up in the jumbo set. Number eight drops back. Oh no, they're going to throw here. They caught it. That'll be a seven-yard pickup. They come out in a nickel. He drops back. Gives a little pump fake. Incomplete pass. Well, he was under some heavy pressure there. Well, I agree there was a lot of pressure, but I think he can hold on to the ball just a little bit longer and deliver it with some confidence. The Buckeyes bring in their dime package. He drops back. He throws it. Oh, almost three. picked drops off by number one. Jeez. The Buckeyes line up with six defensive backs. Drop back to pass. Number and they caught it. Makes a catch. So they were able to connect on that one for the score. Yeah, he did a nice job of getting into good position to make the play there. To be honest, I thought we were going to hold him to a field goal, but I guess not. And he hits the PAT. Florida lines up for the kickoff. Number 49 kicks it off. And it seems Jonathan Wills will return this kickoff from our own end zone. Number 28 fields it in the end zone. Can't wrap him up. Let's go half back tackle and see what happens. Ball on their own 21. Florida goes out in a 4-3. Oh, yeah, they were all over that. That'll be a two-yard loss. Actually, it was a three-yard loss, but thank you for giving it my hopes up. Jeez. All right, so we're just going to throw it. He passes it, and it's knocked down. Well, he was under some heavy pressure there. Well, I agree there was a lot of pressure, but I think he can hold on to the ball just a little bit longer and deliver it with some confidence. Third and 13. Oh, boy. Drop back to pass. He's looking for his Ricky man. Bryant. Number he nine. got it. Has it. Wow. How about that third down conversion? That was crazy. Play here, guys. I'm really and Ricky Bryant now is over 1,000 yards receiving for the season. Third and long play. He unloads it. Incomplete. Incomplete. That one way too far out in front. You know what, guys? That's what I refer to as a radio ball. You can hear it. You just can't see it. And if the receiver can't see it, then he's not going to catch it. Steps back to pass. Let's it fly. It falls in. Jeez, I'm throwing it, it looks like he too much. On that one. I'll tell you, I think the quarterback got rid of that one too quickly, Kirk. Well, Coach, you're right. They need to work on their timing a little bit more. Oh, I'm getting sacked. Come up with a sack. They'll lose eight yards there. Well, we have to punt it away. Coming up here. I wanted to score, but number three back deep to return. Oh, well. Punts the ball away. Here comes our punt three, coverage team, and they did really good on that one. He really didn't have any room to work on that punt return. Yeah, but his blockers have to do a better job of helping him out. They didn't hold the coverage team at bay. They just let him right through. 
Ball on the 24. First and 10. The Gators come out in the ace formation. Number 97 tackles and, him for a loss. And Kenny Peterson tackles him for a loss. That. that was amazing. Ball on the 24-yard line. It's second down and 10 to go. Number eight lines up in the shotgun. And they just let the clock run out. And that'll be the end of the first quarter with our score. Florida, 14. Ohio State, 7. We are ready to start quarter number two. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 24. Second and ten at the 24-yard line. Number 97 with a takedown at the 24-yard line. Wow, Kenny Peterson took anything. him down again. Third and 10, ball on the 24-yard line. Florida lines up in a shotgun set. Number eight, back to throw. Let's it go, and it's caught. And he's tackled at the 42. Here it is again. Ball on the 42-yard line. The Buckeyes. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here on defense. And I don't know what happened here, but I called a blitz, and that should have been... A tackle for a loss and or something. And he that one wide open. You know what? Great blocks up front. You're able to do that as a ball carrier. I'll tell you what. I think the sunshine scooter Lee Corso himself could have picked up a couple yards on that one. Not so fast, my friend. Defense is Woodson. He jukes. And they got him for a loss. Loss of a yard. This is the sixth play of this drive. Going with the shotgun here. Back to pass. He lets it go. First down. Oh. Number one. I thought Mike Doss was going to catch that one. one. And a nice pickup to the not. air. I'll tell you what, oh, fellas. Boy. I love this kid's throwing ability. He's got a quick release and he's very accurate. Seventh play of this drive coming up. Florida will line up in a jumbo set here. He drops back. He throws it. Complete. And they pick up two yards. Number 82 for a short game. Ball on the 12-yard line. Second and seven. Oh, boy. 229 yards to my 96. Jesus. Florida lines up in a goal line set. On a pitch out. Ah, number thankfully number 37 just destroyed him. Five-yard loss on the play. Ball on the 18-yard line. Ohio State brings in the nickel here. Number eight, back to throw. Let's it fly. Wow, left him wide open. Coach, what can you say about that? All I can say is that was a nice call. The quarterback saw the hole in the defense, and that's a touchdown, folks. And he tacks on the extra point. Man, I really wish I was playing Georgia Tech instead of Florida. I think it would have gone a little different. Florida is ready to kick it away. Here's the kick. Number 28 fields it in the end zone. All right, nice run by uh, Jonathan Wells. Nice return. On the 26 yard line. First and 10. The Gators come out in a 4 3. Number 45 brings him down at the 32. 
A second down and three to go. Ball on their own 32. Gets a pick. He spins around. Number 13 with a takedown at the 35-yard line. Third and one coming up on this play. Ball on the 35-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 37. Now well, they stuck with a run, and it pays off for him. You know what, Brad? So important on third down to rely on the offensive line to get a good push, and that's what they did there to pick up the first down. Number 28 lines up in the deep back. High formation. He drops back. Fires a bullet over the middle. Oh, my goodness. What a catch by Michael Jenkins. First down. Well, that's a big-time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender, and he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. Back to pass. He lets it go. He's got Caught by Brian. What a catch. That's a three. We're going to hurry up with the hurry-up offense. We're going to audible it to give it to Jonathan Wells. Number 13 with a takedown at the three. And he's got the touchdown. There we go. Touchdown. Well, Brad, when you get inside the five-yard line, you have to rely on the offensive line and great execution. That's All right. Exactly what cool. Right there. I love touchdowns. And he hits the PAT. All right. We got the extra point. So it's now a one score game. Ohio State to kick. Number three and number zero. Back deep to return. Number 23 kicks it off. Number three fields it in the and end zone. Four is going to take a knee in the end zone for a touchback. Ball on the 21. First and 10. Six DBs in the lineup. Number eight drops back. He passes it. Complete. Number 11 brings him down at the 38. And Flores is going to take a timeout here. Ball on their own 38. It's first and 10. Florida lines up in a shotgun set. Back to pass. He unloads it. Incomplete pass. All right. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 38. Florida comes out in the shotgun. Steps back to pass. He gives a pump fake. Let's it go. Incomplete. It looks like he overthrew him on that one. I'll tell you, I think the quarterback got rid of that one too quickly, Kirk. Well, Coach, you're right. They need to work on their timing a little bit more. Right. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 38. Ohio State brings in their nickel package. Drops the throw. Oh, and got sacked by Joe Cooper. And we finally get a three and out on Florida. Wow. And we'll have like under a minute left to Number possibly get a touchdown. And tie this ball game up. But I see Florida's going to run down some of that clock. He gets it off. And me, I, I should have used the time now, but I didn't. Use the time. At the 30. He make All right, we got to go 70 yards to get to the end zone, or we can go for a field goal. Either one, I'm perfectly fine with it. Four man front by the defense. Steps back to pass. Oh, Michael Jenkins here, there. He caught it with one hand. Okay, timeout, timeout. Wow, that was an amazing catch by Michael Jenkins. One-handed catch. 
Now at the 45, we got to get to the 40 for at least a possible field goal attempt. He throws it, and it falls oh, incomplete. Out of his hands. He couldn't hang on to that one, guys. Well, I can't blame him for dropping that one. Did you see how hard that ball was thrown? Wow. Well, Steve Bell's heart didn't throw it that hard. Step back to pass. Fires and try it for Jenkins again. Incomplete. Drops the ball. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision, throwing into coverage. He needs to look at his progression and find the second and third. I didn't really throw into coverage. I kind of, you know. Line. Ohio State comes out with an eye formation. Back to pass. Okay, Ricky Bryan, this is your shot. And oh. that one's fallen incomplete. Man, he had to get rid of that ball in a hurry. You know, it seems like he's allowing the defense to So do I go for it or do I kick a field goal? And I'm, well, I can't kick a field goal. It's too far away, so I got to go for it. Controlling the defense instead. The Buckeyes line up in an eye formation. Drops the throw. And I got sacked. Number eight is going to be sacked for a loss. They fail to make the conversion. They're giving some momentum to the other team. I would be surprised to see them come away with Man. something off this turnover. Try to score before the half ended and it didn't and work out in our favor. Drop back to pass. He passes it. Number seven with a takedown at midfield. And Florida will take a timeout on that one. The Gators start this drive at the 50-yard line. The Buckeyes line up with six defensive backs. Number eight drops to throw. He rolls out to the right. right oh, the Donnie and Nicky could have picked it off and we would have... Yeah, he mm. timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. Ball on the 50. The Buckeyes bring in their dime package. Pass. He scrambled. Number He's gonna get sacked. Gonna for a loss. Sack I'm gonna call timeout because I fourth and long. I'm trying to score, but with eight seconds left, it doesn't look like I'm gonna get any scoring here. Number 84, the return man. He gets it away. Number 84 takes it to 21. And he's tackled at the 37. Yep, that's the end of the second Coach, quarter. Let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Florida 21, Ohio State 14. But the thing is, we get the ball in the second half to start the second half, which is good. But, you know... Crap can happen. We'll see what kind of halftime adjustments were made as we prepare to start the second half. Number 49 kicks it off. Looks like Derek Ross is going to take this one Number out of our own end zone. end zone. Almost to the 20 yard line. We're going to try a different halfback toss here and see if that works. Florida lines up defensively in a 4 3. Number 28 gets it on a pitch. Oh, it's not going to work. Nothing doing. Tackled for a loss on the play. That's a six yard loss. Six yard loss? That's seven. Way to get my hopes up, Brad. It's second down and a long ways to go. The Gators use a four-man front here. Back to throw. Oh, he's open. It across the middle, and it's not Threw it over away. his hands. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is. The defender didn't even touch the ball. Number eight drops back to it just went he's right through Michael hand. Jenkins' hands. And there he goes. Oh, yeah. And down he goes at the 49-yard line. What an amazing catch. First down. That was Brad, awesome you said it. That is a big time play there. Spectacular catch and great body control there on the long pass reception. Number eight drops back. Oh, please catch it. Oh, they couldn't so hook close. up on that one. That one way too far out in front. You know what, guys? That's what I refer to as a radio ball. You can hear it. You just can't see it. And if the receiver can't see it, then he's not going to catch it. Number eight drops back. Rifles this one out to the left. Michael Number Jenkins four, has it again. Number 26 brings him down at the 20. First and 10. First 
Number eight. Back to pass. Let's it go. And it oh. falls incomplete. He had it, but he couldn't hang on to it. You know, there's really no excuse for that either. He needs to make that catch, coach. I okay, agree. so we're going to run this time around. Ohio State comes to the line, only one man There's in the backfield. And they make the stop at the 14. They get five yards on the foot. Eighth play of this drive coming up. That's a first down. With a takedown at the 10. That's four yards on the foot. Oh, he's short? I don't know how the heck he's short, but that should have been a first down. We got robbed, but luckily... There's a flag and there's a holding. No! How are we holding? Now we have to settle for a field goal. Thanks, guys. We had a touchdown and instead you screwed yourselves over. Now we're going to get obliterated for trying to score a touchdown on him. It's up. God damn piece of crap. We drove all the way down the field, had a touchdown, but no, we had to get penalized for holding. Where was the holding? I don't know. Then show replay. Number three, fields it at the three. Getting screwed over as I knew it. Trying to make a comeback, but the refs were like, no, you're supposed to lose. You're supposed to lose like a loser you are. Well, on the 18 Therefore, here we are. Down by four. The Buckeyes line up with six First defensive backs. He drops back. He lets it go. Complete. Oh, fr a freaking course. Now watch him showboat. Yep, there he is showboating, but they're not going to call unsportsmanlike conduct. Because, you know, they want you to be unsportsmanlike. They want you to be as un unsportsmanlike as much as possible. And he hits the PAT. I feel like the friggin' 2006 National Championship not... Well, technically, the 2006 Ohio State Buckeyes doing so good and so you get so far, you lose to Florida, which makes no absolutely no sense because obviously you had the best team in the country, but apparently Florida just wants to ruin your life and make you miserable. Ball on their own 20. It's first and 10. <sighs> you know, if I ever go up against them in NCAA football 2005, I'm going to try and obliterate them. Back to throw. Deep pass down the left side. Number 12 has it. Because I will be playing first NCAA football 2005 for you guys, so. Yeah. When will that be released? When will that, you know, take place? I don't know. He drops back. He's looking for his man. And that one's fallen in. Ah, uh, pass interference. Nice he had it in his hands and then. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. Well, we're getting screwed. Of course. Number eight is going to be sacked for a loss. Sheesh. They stopped for a six yard loss on the play. Ball on their own 45. Third and long. Six yard loss. That's seven yards. Thanks for giving my hopes up now, game. Guns it across the middle. Oh, Ricky Bryant with Number the catch. 26 brings him down at the 26-yard line. It's first and 10, all on the 26-yard line. You know, we're about to break some passing records, but uh, it's not going to work out because we're definitely losing. Uh, no call for pass interference. That guy was interfering with Michael Jenkins. Of course not. This is an SEC crew. They want the SEC to win. The refs, they're all the SEC. He throws it. And it's incomplete. incomplete. I think he was feeling a lot of pressure there, guys. <laughs> I'll tell you what. He's lucky he got rid of that ball when he did. Because they well, we are in field goal range. So we got, obviously, we're going to freaking go for another field goal because we can't do anything. Number eight is going to be sacked. And my offensive line sucks now. 
So I got to go for a field goal. This is going to be from 44 yards. And this will be a very long field goal attempt. It's up. And it's right down the middle. Oh, it's from 50 yards. Okay, whatever. So we're now down by 8 points, which means we're down by a touchdown and a 2-point conversion. Or a Old touchdown State and a seat. Ready to kick it away. Number 20 and number 3 set to return. Deep to the seat. He kicks it. Number 3 fields it in the end zone. But even if we lose this game, we basically outscored all of our opponents. We outscored our opponents. Even though Florida's gonna beat us. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 19. Florida goes with the ace set here. First and ten at the 19. Drop back. He's rolling right. Throws it out there. And he's wow. finally brought down at the 49. And he delivered a nice pass there, Coach. Now, this is what I'm talking about. I like what this coach is doing here by opening up his playbook. It's going to have the defense calling for mercy soon. Defense is blitzing. They'll bring him down at the 49. He didn't get much on that play at all. Brad, the defense had that play read and sealed it off from the get-go. Ball right around midfield. The Buckeyes come out in a 34 defense. Back to pass. He passes it. Oh, Richard McKnight, if you would have picked that off, everything would have been good. Well, here the quarterback no. makes a poor decision, throwing into coverage. Needs to Can't look at his progression nice. and find the second and third Can't receiver. Can't have anything Florida nice. Comes out in the shotgun. Number eight drops to throw. Let's it go. Number 15 with a catch. How did he catch that? Oh my god, we are literally getting our asses kicked. Ball on the 35 yard line. It's first and ten. That was some bull crap. He cannot that is impossible. A fifty foot dive Ohio like State they can't dive for fifty Let's feet. Number two with a take There's gotta down. be the something performance line. enhancing the about this. On the play. Second down and five. Ball on the thirty. Definitely performance enhancers right here. Comes out in a three, four. Here comes the defense. Number 35 brings him down at the 25-yard line. So he got a few yards on that carry. You know what, guys? If you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. Number five lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Of course they get the first down because it's third inches and there's no way to stop these guys. You know, you can just look at the offensive line and see the surge. And that running back did a good job of reading the blocks to pick up the first down. Oh, yeah, Kirk. The big uglies are getting it down up front, aren't they? They use four linebackers. So that brings us to the end of the quarter, and at the end of three, our score, Florida 28, Ohio State 20. They've switched sides, and these teams are all set to start. Oh, we're about to lose quarter. this national championship game, and it's so bullcrap. All on the 24-yard line. All this hard work for nothing. Just to get beaten by a preseason number one team that was unbeatable by every SEC team. They're coming. There's a missed tackle. Okay, the quarterback did not break tackles. That is impossible. About six yards on the play. Honestly, Florida shouldn't even be in the national championship because they play soft cupcakes. Like, seriously. All their SEC opponents were cupcakes except for Ole Miss. Here they come. A little shake and bake move. And down he goes at the 17-yard line. The left way sure didn't work. Brad, this is a sensational play by the defense. They just charged in there, and they stuffed it. This is the 10th play of this drive. The defensive line's moving all over. Tries to shoot. 
And he stopped behind the line. And he was tackled short of the line of scrimmage. Well, I'll tell you what, here the offensive line's got to do a better job. It looks like the running back was looking for some protection, and Lee, his lineman didn't provide any. Hey, Kirk, they did the exact opposite. It was like a Spanish matador letting the bull charge. The kick is up, and it is good. You've got to be kidding me. Really roughing the kicker? Where was number seven? He was not roughing the kicker. They really want Florida to score, and this is why Ohio State's getting robbed of the national championship right here. But mark my words. We will verse Florida again in the national championship. Not in this game, but in NCAA football 2005, right side, possibly, or in 2006 or 2007. The there. Yeah, he had to get because rid of the hurry, once we do, if we do, I'm going to make sure that we show no, no mercy against them in those games. Because to tell you the Lawrence truth, I hate losing. Losing sucks. He tries to spin. Number two brings him down at the eight. Just a yard there. Ohio State lines up defensively in a 3-4. Back to pass. He's looking for his man. Complete. And a nice connection for the score, Coach. Yep, yep, yep. The defense can forget about it. How did he score? He was... Oh, I hate this game. I do with a passion. Because he got tackled. He did not... The ball did not cross the plane. He was one yard short. And he hits the field. But, you know... The SEC... They just love helping out the, the team that's in the national championship. This is an SEC officiating team. Florida, the kick. And they suck. Number 49 kicks it off. Number 28 has it at the five. First and ten. The Buckeyes go with the eye formation. Number eight, back to pass. Okay, I Number threw that ball before I got sacked, sack. so obviously this game favors the SEC, so no wonder. It's no wonder. Drops the throw. Throws it deep downfield. Swatted away. Guys, he threw that one right into the cover. Kurt, nothing gets a coach more fired up than to throw the ball into coverage. Oh, wait. Uh, <clears throat> you never made mistakes like that, did you? No, of course not. Number eight steps back to pass. Throws it out there. He's got the first. Number three with a takedown at the 40. It's first and ten. Ball on the 40. Back to pass. He unloads it. Number he just three. tipped Not it out of his hands. Why? Force him to get rid of the ball Why is that guys? even a yeah, thing? That doesn't happen in real life. Good surge up front, getting right into the quarterback's face. Step back to pass. Let's it go. Number 12 hangs on to it. And he's finally taken down at the 18. What do you think of that one, Mr. Corso? Well, I'm going to say that was a nice catch. He got a bunch of yards there, and that's going to spread this defense out a little. Drops to throw. Let's it fly. It falls incomplete. Oh, that was definitely pass interference. But you know, SEC refs, they don't call anything. He has to make Just don't call anything. Of course. He drops back. He's looking for his man. And that's a tough play to make. Coach. You know, having to concentrate on the ball while the ball he is didn't still catch in the air sometimes really. causes the receiver. His foot was in bounds. They just didn't call it a touchdown because you know why? SEC refs, people. Of course. The Gators line up in a nickelback. Fires across the middle. Number nine. We got a touchdown. All right. And they got burned deep on that one, my friend. You know what? We're going for two. I don't give a flying frick. We are not losing by more than a touchdown. And he's 
taken down at the three yards. Yes, we are. Well, our only chance is the onside Ohio kick State here. Lined up in an onside kick formation. Number 23 with the onside kick. We get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, shit. I really thought we had a chance there, but nope. Of course, the game just well, doesn't want to give me field. a chance. Now, we got to force like two turnovers here. The Buckeyes bring in their dime package. But I don't think it's going to happen. We're going to get They're screwed. Good. Oh, yeah, definitely screwed there. Number one brings him down at the 40 yard line. And that was an excellent run there. Yeah, that was great blocking, Brad, up front by the offensive line to open up that hole. First and ten, ball on the 40-yard line. Number five is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Brought down at the 38-yard line. He was stopped in his tracks on that one. Oh, yeah, and that's because of the nice pursuit by the defense there. Ball on the 38. Second and eight coming up here. They come out in a goal line set. They'll bring him down at the 35. I have to use one of my timeouts now. Ball on the 35-yard line. It's third down and four to go. Nickel defense. Number two with a takedown at the 32-yard line. Timeout called by the defense. Fourth and two. Ball on the 32. Oh, and they're going to go for a field goal. They're going to try a long field goal here. It's up. No good. All right. So we have a chance to make it a very close football game. Basically, we would just lose by one point if we get the touchdown and a two point conversion here. He passes it, and they make the stop at the 45 yard line. All right, clock stops to move the chains. He fires left side. Number three tips it away. That was a risky pass there. Yeah, he knew his receiver was covered, but he tried to force it in there anyway. That's way too dangerous. You got to be smarter than that. Drops back. He guns it to the left. Number 12 has it. How about your assessment of that long play, Kirk? Well, Brad, not only a big pass play, but anytime you can stretch a defense on first or second down like this, you're going to open up your running game. Number eight drops to throw. Let's it fly. Touchdown. It for the touchdown. Coach, how about that play? Yo, was that a sensational pass or what? Let's have another look at that pass, guys. Well, Brad here is just a great throw by the quarterback. He does a great job of... If I had that two-point conversion from last time, I think we would have had a shot to win. break on the ball. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Yeah, couldn't get the two-point conversion here, so we got to go for the onside kick. If we don't get this, Florida wins. Ohio State lined up for the onside kick. Number 23 with the onside kick. Oh, they got it. That's going to be in the game. Yep, they're going to go Ball for the it's first and ten. kneel down. I'm going to call timeout. Ball on the 47. We were this close to coming back. Three man front defensively. And somehow the MVP is Michael All Jenkins of the Rose Bowl. For the Rose Bowl. I don't know how he got MVP. They line up in the jumbo set.
And he's taken down at the 44. Four yards gain. Fourth down and nine. They're not going to punt it to us. Number 84, back to return it. I wish we had a timeout, but we don't. Well, guys, there's my first loss in NCAA football. And it was to Florida. It's a done deal here as the final whistle blows. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? This is why I'm up here with you guys. Coaching a game like this might give you a heart attack. Florida played an outstanding broke records football today, game, but... and they proved they can win the close ones. We expected it to be a close game, and we were not disappointed. Wasn't enough. Both thanks for spending your time with us in another game of NCAA Football 2002. We look forward to bringing you more great college football action in the future. Again, our final score, Florida 35, Ohio State 32. For Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler with our final goodbye. We'll catch you next time. I got screwed. If I would have gotten that touchdown, if we would have taken that three points off and there would have been seven points, I, we would have won this by like one. But no. If that holding call never happened, we would have won. But you know, the SEC refs screw us over because they want their... They want Florida to win. Of course. Of course. Well, this sucks. This honestly sucks. We had, we had a really good team that could have won the national championship there, but no. And sadly, my win streak of, like, let's see, four, like 38 games I, I had like a so my win streak of 38 games guys is over so yeah perfect regular season just not a perfect regular like not a perfect season all around so here are the final standings um, for the coaches poll. So we went back down to three for the coaches poll. And then we slipped to four in the AP poll. And yeah, this is just sad. Oh, Cincinnati did go to a bowl game. And they won the galleryfurniture.com bowl. Uh, Texas won the Alamo Bowl against Michigan State. North Carolina won the Peach Bowl. Wisconsin won the Capital One Florida Citrus Bowl. West Virginia won the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. California beat Northwestern to win the Nokia Sugar Bowl. Uh, Michigan won the Outback Bowl. Virginia Tech won the Gator Bowl. Texas Tech won the Cotton Bowl. Georgia Tech beat Miami to win the Orange Bowl. And then we lost the national, the Rose Bowl National Championship game to Florida. <sighs> this sucks. I really thought we had a chance, but we got screwed in the end with that holding call on all the F SEC refs missing calls that were on Florida. Like, terrible, terrible calls all around for these, this SEC officiating crew. That, that obviously had to be an SEC officiating crew because Florida wasn't getting any calls. But we were. So, yeah. Well, I guess for the final minutes of this, I can calculate how many points I've scored on teams, so if you just give me a second, I can do these calculations right now. Because, why not? I want to see how many points I've scored this season. 50, 
31 to that. And then add 51, then 42, then 66, then 59, and then lastly 32. So, I, so this in this LP, this NCAA football LP, my um my scoring on a my um points on opponents has gone down significantly because during this LP, I have scored 499 points on my opponents. That is very low because um I know like. Back in my last two LPs, I scored like, I think it was around like 700 or 900 points on teams. So this is a very big downturn. So yeah, now for the um, teams that did score on me. So 23, 27, 0, 10, 7, 3... And then 24, and then 33, and then 28, and then 21, and then 14, and then finally 35. And the opponents scored, like, the amount of points the all opponents scored on me was a total of, um, 225 points. So, yeah. Um, to be honest, me outscoring all the opponents is good. But, man, I really wish I had the national championship in my hand. But that's pretty sad, like... Ah, Jonathan Wells got a first-team All-American. I really wanted to win the national championship in this game, so I had like three straight national titles going into the NCAA Football 2005. But unfortunately, that's... that wasn't the case. Uh, who got second-team All-American? Ah, Kenny Peterson, second team All-American. That's nice. And that's it. I had two players make the All-American team. But at least I got a player, a third player in a row to win the Heisman Trophy, so... Can't really complain about that either so yeah guys that's it for NCAA football 2002 I end my season 11 and 1 undefeated in the Big Ten 8 and 0 so we did become so we did win Big Ten the Big Ten championship so that's three straight for me but uh, sadly could not win the big one the national championship along with the Rose Bowl But, uh, that's, that is how it is, so we're just going to move on, and, uh, yeah. So, we'll be moving on to Resident Evil 3 next, since I'm done playing NCAA Football 2002. So, with that, guys, I'd like to thank you all for watching this series of NCAA Football 2002. If you enjoyed this final episode... Smack a like on it, subscribe if you're new to this channel, check out my other videos I've uploaded my channel, and if you're just starting on this video, go back to uh, the starting playlist. I have a playlist of all the NCAA Football 2002 videos I've uploaded, so you can start on Game 1, which was against Akron, and then just go through all of them and watch me, you know, play amazing football until this episode, which we were 
We were close, but we just couldn't handle it. <sighs> but anyways, guys, again, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time when we start up the Resident Evil 3 Let's Play. So with that, guys, I'll see you guys later.